Well, welcome everybody to Studio Space number two. Uh, I This is where the playmats for Neoprene Gang, my playmats are gonna go, but uh, the hooks say that they are were supposed to be delivered today, but they are uh, out for delivery in Kentucky right now. So I'm not sure what happened there, uh, but uh, we'll get them up eventually. Uh, this is gonna be cool. This is kind of where the channel is going to evolve and grow. I'll give you a, I'll give you a little tour of what it currently looks like. Uh, this is kind of be where the, the channel kind of evolves and grow. There's going to be a board game table here. Uh, I might have some top-down stuff to do. Uh, you know, all my shipping stuff will be in there. Uh, it's going to be a sweet little space to evolve and grow the channel. I'm really, really excited about it. It's been really fun uh, to start dreaming about it and building it. Uh, but this will be kind of my main uh, conversational backdrop kind of Flesh and blood, mostly. Uh, we might have some other card game stuff. I'm working on some stuff for the channel uh, that I think is going to really help the channel grow. You uh, might be able to see, like, nightly streams and uh, more of a full-time gig on my side. And then uh, I'm really working hard to make it happen. Um, it's been really cool to create some relationships and, and work on that. So uh, the channel is, is going to grow. This is where it's going to grow. This and then in my other studio. We'll come up with a name later. Leave a comment in the comment section if you have a name for this space uh, for us to grow in together. Uh, we'll have, you know, I still have the, uh, oh, we're reaching here. Oh, still have the, the subscriber count. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll use this and it'll be fun to see where we came from uh, and where we're going. And I'm super excited about that. But I want to talk about Monarch First Edition uh, because uh, <laughs> I ordered a lot of it. And uh, I'm going to get a lot of it. And so I'm going to open. So I just wanted to kind of talk about my experience with Monarch First Edition right now. And then give you some thoughts. And then uh, give a little heads up to my patrons uh, of something going on that I might be able to have some Monarch First Edition for them. And uh, this is going to be fun. So this is going to be a good time. So let's talk. Uh, number one, first thing, uh, I remember three months ago probably. I came out and said, hey, be careful pre-ordering Monarch because uh, if you remember, we talked about when I pre-ordered Double Masters from Magic the Gathering, uh, my money got put on hold for, you know, I pre-ordered like uh, $1,500 worth of Double Masters VIP editions. I got put on hold and I never got the product. I had to do a chargeback. And basically I gave a business a, a three month loan. But what I said was, don't necessarily put all your eggs in that basket, but also you might want to pre-order some from like trusted sources. And I followed through my own advice. Anything I say to you, I'm usually doing myself for the record. Like when I talk about Enlightened Strike Rainbow Foils from Unlimited, I bought a couple of those. When I talk about Cold Foil Commons, I've been buying those. Uh, when I talk about like the heart, I can't afford that. But um, so here's the deal. I pre-ordered approximately 65 to 70 boxes from approximately 10 to 15 stores. I don't know the exact numbers. Actually, the, I'm still using my phone. The exact numbers are on my phone. Um, and about uh, 25 of those boxes have gotten canceled already. Uh, and I'm a little bit worried about some other boxes like Dragon's Den, I pre-ordered from them. Uh, I don't think I'm ever gonna see those, those 16 boxes. Um, but uh, I pre-ordered from my local game store a long time back and I asked them to get me, uh, I, think, I think eight boxes. And then when everything kind of started blowing up, I was like, hey, can we get 16? And then I was like, hey, dude, like, go for it. Like, shoot as big as you can. Like, order as many boxes of Monarch First Edition. And, like, keep in mind, like, me and two or three of my friends locally, I'm in West Virginia. Things are really small here. Uh, <laughs> like, really small. Like, Friday Night Magic has, like, eight to ten people. So, like, the scaling flesh and blood at a large level is really difficult. Um... So I was like, hey, order a bunch of boxes. And they just got their allocations. And we've been, you know, ordering boxes. I've been selling them as box breaks. And, you know, I've just been helping him move product and whatever. Uh, so we got some boxes coming. I don't know exactly how many we're going to get. But it's going to allow me to do some things. First off, uh, for my own self, like I, I pre-ordered enough to that I thought things were going to get canceled. Uh, and that I will have enough to do what I wanted to do. I didn't think I was going to, but I'm going to do a 40 box live stream on release night. So I think it'll be April 30th. I'm going to do, I'm going to open boxes until I hit the fabled from Monarch First Edition. And I can't freaking wait. It's going to be like a, a, I don't know, how long is it going to take me to open? It takes me 10 minutes to open a box. So 10 minutes, that's 400 minutes. I don't know how many, that's like 
five hours? I have no clue. That math was terrible. But uh, we'll do a live stream where I open 40 boxes of Monarch First Edition. Uh, and I'm super excited about it. It's going to be so much fun. So join me then. Um, and then I'll be able to keep some back for like future box openings, kind of fill out my collection if I need to. Uh, and, you know, I do keep like a couple of first edition boxes sealed, so I'll be able to do that. And, uh, and then I think I, <laughs> I think I've ordered enough that I will be able to offer them to patrons as box openings at, you know, what I, what I'm paying for them. Um, and that's going to be super excited. So I just want to give a heads up to patrons. I, I don't want to pre-order anything because there is a chance that like the local game store will get, uh, won't get as many boxes as they've been, you know, told they'll get allocated. Uh, so I am going to be doing that. So just keep that in mind. But I want to talk about Monarch First Edition as a whole because, you know, Channel Fireball came out at 250 and then they've lowered their prices to 200 and Star City Games sold out at 200 And so it seems like $200 is really the sticking point right now. And if, if what happens in, I think there's a correlation between where Magic the Gathering Collector's Boxes is and where Monarch First Edition is going. That's my, my feeling, my opinion. And I think what we're going to see is that that $200 to $200 price tag, uh, sorry, that $200 to $250 price tag is going to sit pretty pretty flat. Um, I don't anticipate release week happening and boxes plummeting because here's what I anticipate. I anticipate release week happening and singles really being valuable and people really trying in the first two weeks to fill out their collection and pay whatever the price is because they're afraid that the, the values are going to go up. You know, I think what we saw with Crucible of War was that uh, product kind of slowly trickled in. And we might see some little minute trickling of product as, as you know, stores get, you know, what will happen inevitably is a store will pre-order 100 boxes and they'll go out of business. And so that gets back to the distributors and then they'll split that up amongst all their stores. And uh, so we might see a little trickle of the sealed product. But what's really probably going to happen, in my opinion, is that it's going to come out. Everyone's going to want to get singles for their collection, build their decks, spec on cards. You're going to see prices from crew uh, increase, too, as people spec on cards. Um, but you're also, I think, going to see that the singles, you're going to have that arbitrage, right, that we, you know, people always talk about. That, that arbitrage where the sealed product isn't worth as much as if you open the product because I think that the singles market is going to go kind of bananas. Uh, honestly, I believe that wholeheartedly. I think that the first week, if you can purchase singles, if you've got the money, that first week is going to be an ample time to try to secure some product, uh, try to get those cards that you want. I think a lot of people are going to be trying to do that. And what that's going to do is it's going to be a very short window that you'll be able to purchase cards and then they're going to go up in value. And that's going to, in turn, you know, for a while, the price of the, the cards in the box is going to dictate the price of the of the actual box. And so I think it's going to sit. I don't think stores are going to lower it much more from 200, honestly. And I think stores are going to get all their products. So I think your best bet is between now and April 30th to get a pre-order out. Um at this point, stores have their allocations. You know, like I'm talking like my local game store. I was like, hey, man, do you want to do pre-orders for them? Like, do you want me to put it out to my patrons and do pre-orders? And we were both like, eh, like, uh, it's just like, what happens if something gets cut? And so I know there are some stores that are holding back and waiting till they get the actual product. That's the situation they're in. And I know there's some other stores that are doing that too. So, but if you can pre-order, I would say that 175 to 200 is a fantastic price. You know, if a store goes back up to 250 a local game store, I think that's acceptable. I wouldn't be upset with them for doing that uh, because I think release week, that's where the product's going to be. It's around that 200 to $250 range. But let me tell you this. I think there is a window there where you need to not sleep on it because there is a buzz about this set, you know, in our world, but also in the TCG world in general. And I think Monarch First Edition is going to bring more and more people into our community. I think you're going to see, oh man, I think you're going to see a lot of people entering in. Uh, and, and I'm not talking about big wigs. I'm, I'm talking about you, like people like you and people like me who have heard about the game, but haven't hopped in because they saw the price of alpha they saw the price of arcane they saw the price of like a crucible of war booster box right now and they're you know the 700 hundred dollar price tag for a crew box right now is too high for them and so they're gonna, people like you or me who are gonna hop in the 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 dolphins from magic the gathering maybe who are gonna hop in because they're 
they see the value in a $200 box and $200, like as much as we are complaining and not, oh, sorry, we're not complaining about it too much, but some people say, oh, boxes should be 80 bucks. You know, like a collector edition Magic the Gathering box is $175 all day. And you know what? They're talking about Modern Horizons 2 being a $500 collector's box. That's going to drive people nuts. It's going to set the price tag up here. And then, and then Flesh and Blood's going to come in at like the $200, $250 price tag. And that's going to drive, I mean, it's going to be crazy. Because you know what? In Flesh and Blood, you have the potential of opening that Fable card that's like thousands of dollars first edition I like I honestly think first edition there's not going to be I think first edition cards are going to kind of sit where about half the value of crew cards off the bat so like the the fabled from crew I think the fable is four grand I think the fabled from monarchs gonna be 1800 I I don't want to say that because like what if I don't pull it and then it's like I gotta go buy it um but man it's it's gonna be fun to watch I'm also uh, so let me back up. Uh, I want to be on the record and say that like, I think we're going to see an influx of collectors because you can pull those expensive cards in a $500 booster box from Magic the Gathering. Are you going to pull $500 worth of cards? I don't feel like you are, but I really think that you're going to have arbitrage in first edition Monarch. I really think that's going to happen. So I think more and more people are going to enter the fold as it's a, a reachable price tag for the TCG market. And then lastly, I just want everybody to know my game plan, my goal on Monarch release week is to kind of do like a daily update on Monarch prices. I might do it every two days instead of every day. It will depend on how much the, the prices are fluctuating. Uh, but I'm going to be tracking stuff like crazy uh, to try to, you know, figure out where the value is scaling. Because I think this is going to be like this release is either going to pass or fail flesh and blood. And it's going to be a really, really good case study on what happens in the future like the game has already like become accomplished and set itself in stone. So now it's like, where is it going to go? What direction is it going to continue to move? And it's going to be really interesting. So we'll be tracking all that. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure uh, you're following along on the channel. Uh, and then it, patrons, I just want you to know, like I'm working hard. I think I'm going to be able to offer box openings and case breaks of first edition Monarch. And I think I've got enough product coming my way uh, that we'll be able to do like a whole month of, like openings and products. So uh, be ready for that. Don't take my, I'm not going to tell you prices. I'm not going to promise you anything yet because I don't want you to not order product from somewhere else. And then like, I don't, you know, you're counting on me and I don't get it, but I don't, I don't anticipate that happening, but there is always a chance at that. Uh, so just keep that in mind. What else do I want to say? I'm sorry this video was a little come. I thought I was going to have a background and we don't. Anyway, hope you have a great day. Remember to be kind to the people around you. I know I have a giveaway to do. Um, but I'm going to hold off on it a couple days until I get everything situated. I My shipping setup is all messed up. And uh, I need to get, I just got internet like two hours ago. Um, so anyway, we'll see you tonight for a live stream. We're doing uh, two case breaks of Arcane. And I'll probably have two case breaks available later this week or early next week as well. Uh, hope you have a great day. Remember, be kind to the people around you. I can't wait to show you this wall. Look, it's bare. And the next time you see it, it'll have play mats all over it. Look, the play mats are right there. They're ready. The playmats are ready, everybody. All right, have a good day.